We are making history this month in advance. Well, not really us, but we're learning about a history maker. And we learn about this man who was in the Iron Man race. Now, that in and of itself just sounds incredible to be able to do that, Joel. I, I have a hard time imagining these people who do Iron Man races because when I look at the swimming distance and then the cycling and the running, I could maybe do one of those mm-hmm. in a day, and I'd probably spend a week recovering afterward. But they do all of the six, like, it's hours. I yeah. Mean, I think the, in our article, he ran over 16 hours. Yeah, it is quite day. incredible, right? Mm-hmm. They're doing all these different things. Is it oh, biking, it's... swimming, and running? Right? Yeah, it's mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. So that leads me to a simple question. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do you enjoy exercising, Joel? Well, I enjoy things like hockey. uh, You play hockey? I used to. Okay. I mean, from Canada? If if you're talking about like physical activity you enjoy. Yeah, hiking, um, swimming outdoors, uh, digging big sandcastles at the beach. Um, But I can't do all those things all the time. So yeah, I go to a gym regularly just to <laughs> just to stay healthy i go to the gym that doesn't sound as fun but it is good it's good i'm glad stay, i can do it stay fit yeah. all right so you like to go to the gym mm-hmm. and what do you like to do there oh i just i just go and try and be as efficient as possible okay get in get, get out in, get healthy. out lift some weights yeah. do some running okay mm-hmm. well let's talk about our sports story it's not only a sports story it's actually a inspirational mm-hmm. story did you find it to be inspiring for you I if did so, how, Joel? well not just that a man a young man with with big challenges was able to succeed mm-hmm. at something so amazing I, I was also inspired by the way so many people around him supported him to do this yeah his parents um, he had a guide who went through the Ironman with him. Yes. Um, and there's even organizations that are made to support people with his kind of challenge. Yes. And, uh, and that was really inspiring. And I'm glad you brought that up because we are talking about a man who has Down syndrome. Mm-hmm. That's why he has a guide. And so it's incredible that uh, he was able to go through the Ironman mm-hmm. race and complete it. And it makes us think. There's actually a line from the article. Chris's dad, Nick, says that people can say to themselves, look, if he, if Chris can do so much with so little, what can I do with what I've got? And mm-hmm. I thought that was something for us to think on. What do yeah, you think? I loved that part of the article. It really made me think about how perspective can really change how we feel about a situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I see all these people and organizations pouring their energy and resources into helping people like Chris, makes me think, whoa, these people are important. Mm -hmm. People are important. And then you look at your own situation with so many advantages, and it's like, what am I complaining about? I've got so many good things going for me. What could I do with this? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's a question we'll leave you with. What can you do with what you've been given? Something to think about this summer. We'll see you next time here on Insights. Bye-bye.